Howdy folks, welcome back to Battle Brothers. I think we're just gonna dive right in here to Zugat Thul. Many ambushers, a plethora of skirmishers, a couple of shamans. Sounds ultra, ultra, ultra annoying to me. Let's do an armor check. Pretty sure most everyone's probably pretty good shape, I would imagine. Yeah, so <clears throat> with the... With all those shamans out there, it's probably a good idea to attack during the day so we can shoot them. If we attack at night, we're never going to be able to kill those shamans. And they're going to be 100% hitting us with all those <clears throat> plant things. Sorry, I probably should have. My, my throat is not in the best shape. That's alright, we'll be fine. Let's get in there. Oh! That's right. Uh, I suddenly remember the terrain of this battlefield is mm, not really the best. We're going to want to get everyone off the low ground as soon as possible. Hmm. Yeah, that shaman in the back. This could be a little tough. Because he's going to hit us right now with vines. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a nightmare. Toso? Damn it. I really was hoping to get him out of that. Bane, I would want him to take Justadorf's spot. Magnus, on the other hand, we could get someone by the look of it. Probably one of these guys with a net. Nope. Okay. Justadorf? Wow, we have to go all the way around to get out of here? Unbelievable. What about Ike? Let's get Ike up there. Duke. Need blade, maybe? Good. Need to get. Just need to get out of being entrapped like this so easily. Probably want to close in sooner rather than later. 29 goblins. They're all going to be going for Toso, almost certainly, all the archers. Although, well, hmm. Joss just needs to get some high ground. Luckily this time he's got a more melee oriented shield, so hopefully he doesn't get shanked like he did last time. Although, I'm pretty certain that last time's, like, triple stabbing was really, really fortunate for the goblins, that is. Let's get Bane up here, I guess. Can we? No, can't see. But we can get Chestador forward this time instead. Man, battles in terrain like this are just really, really, really rare. Wow, Kirbor is getting shot up a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice. Oh, yep, Toso's. It's beginning for Toso. Not quite sure what melee weapons these two have yet. Wow. All that throwing crap. We're probably almost done, at least, so there is that. Maybe get hacking up here. Bane, let's take a step forward. Can we get someone? Maybe this guy with the net? No. 
Well, hopefully we're not going to have terrible luck like we did last time. Melee defense, range defense, like just ma major penalties to everything. Let's just get to this boulder here so we can take some cover. Just a dwarf, get on the high ground, aid blade. Just get out of that, junior. Yeah. Can't get Duke like straight in there. That might actually be pretty good. Let's do that. Toso, he gets free. Can't move though. Joss, good. Climb up a little bit higher. Vorander. See, there's a boulder here. Actually, this looks like a pretty good spot for Vorander. Magnus. 61%. No. Let's get free, at least. I doubt they're going to be using too many vines in the rear now. Finally, Kiribor gets free. Yep, here comes the nets. They have a lot of nets, by the way. A lot of them. They're almost out of their garbage. That's good. Bane. Can't do much to get closer, but you know what? Let's start working on it, I guess. Poor Tosa's been poisoned. <clears throat> Yeah. Toso is going to be the weakest link here. Hopefully, um... There's a chance that if he doesn't get vined, we can just pull him back out of range and then just do aimed shots to, to hit some goblins from the back because I don't like the way he's getting peppered there pretty bad. As soon as Junior gets out of... The, well, we're going to be sitting and just struggling with nets for a pretty long duration, I think. Oh, yeah. Here, here we go again with a knife and jost. Ugh, I hate goblins more than anything. That is a lot of knives. They have so many knives. Can we give this one 40% with hacking? Alright, I'll take it. Then let's get back here. Bane. Well, I wasn't expecting them to just randomly charge in. Let's reload with Bane. Can we get a shot on one of these? Maybe him, 58. There we go. Maybe right in there. Just a dwarf, however, maybe a kill. Nice. Maybe another one. Yep. That's excellent stuff right there. Let's get Toso right here. That's probably going to make him much safer than he was. Need blade. Get up here, help out Junior. Ike. Let's just go here with Ike and prevent these guys having an equal ground, even though his defenses are really not good. Let's, uh, let's throw up our shield. Jost. Jost gets free. That's good. 70%? Damn. Junior. <laughs> Kirabor, let's take a breather. Vorander, maybe we could get a kill here. 54% missed. I was hoping to be able to kill him and then use our Berserk to get free. Duke, nice. 65, miss. Ouch, Vorander gets hit pretty hard there. All right. Our archers are kind of in a little bit of disarray, so that works for us. Oh, yeah. 
We're gonna see what these knives get up to. Wow, how's Joss Shield, like, all beat up? Huh. That's a interesting thing. Hmm. Interesting. Yep. Joss is already stabbed once, or is that Ike? I think that's Ike. Yeah, he was stabbed through the shield wall. It's a swarm of insects that's doing it, of course. Couple of hits on Joss there. Duke also gets stabbed, really? Is this the way things are going again? Just super lucky goblin stabs for days. Let's go after this one, no shield, 52. Got him. Magnus, we've got these shamans lined up now. Yeah, let's just go after him. No. Hacken, probably wanna break free. None of that. Just a dwarf, let's step in and go after this one. Nope. Let's start getting Kirabor this way. Aid Blade. 75%. Yep, let's just fight through the net. Duke though, don't, don't do that. Just get free. Melee skill and range skill reduction, 18% chance to hit. Let's just throw up the shield. Vorander, 45, 70%. Let's go for that our ambusher. Got him. Can we go for him too, 45? Yes! Gotta get some kills, it has to happen. 70%, yes, Joss kills him. And we actually have enough to recover, so let's do that. Junior, let's get out of that net. They've almost used them all to try and get us, but okay. I think we might be doing okay now. I'm a little worried about Ike. But he doesn't have uh, the bugs anymore, which is ex gonna help his chances quite exponentially. That archer is really trying to be sneaky, isn't he? Yeah, I putting up the defenses now. <clears throat> Looks like we've got most of the knives except for this one. We're about to see how Ike does. Do we get some more on on? Oh, okay, nice. Choso gets the bugs. Well, honestly. It's better than one of our frontline guys uh, suffering. Couple of generous applications of the uh, the old whip. Bane, let's have ourselves a reload. Thirty-eight. How about sixty-two percent on that one? No. Toso, thirty-seven. We could do an aimed shot, 44, ugh. Let's just go hide. Magnus, 69 or 48, let's go after that shaman. Then again, these guys are pretty annoying and pretty close. Yeah, let's shoot this one. Nope, okay. Just a dwarf. 66 or 79 or 52. Let's go for that 66. Damn it. Just on the other hand, I think it's time to get out the, the weapon. Ike, 48%. I'm really hesitant to let this guy with the knife go at Ike again, so let's just shield wall. That, if that guy hits us with that dagger, um, we're going to end up with the same situation we had previously. Let's get Kirabor still climbing up. Duke. Let's get on top of this one. Start 
God. These little daggers are pretty awesome at killing goblins. Junior, uh, we, we need a need a breather. Verander, let's get free. And start moving in. Yeah. Aid blade, time to get free. 78, another one down. Hacking, nice. I think that's it with this turn. The turns are flying by, but you know what? We are killing goblins. We are definitely killing goblins. Duke dodges that knife twice, which is excellent. A lot of these archers are going for our weakest links here. Yep, Toso gets hit a couple more times. I'm just going to pull him out. This ambusher right there is definitely going to go for it. They're doing damage. They're doing damage to us for sure. But it looks like it might not be enough. Let's see. Jost is set up to do some pretty excellent damage next turn if everything goes well. Whoa! Hacken gets nailed! We gotta get him out of there for sure. Bane, how about a reload? 34, 38. That's terrible. 41. Let's go for 38. Got him. Magnus, reload. 72. Really? The crossbows have not been helping us. Um, both this fight and last episode's fight. Junior. Work him down a little bit. Justadorf, 66. Well, all right. Joss, can we swing on these two? There we go. Two more goblins down. Sadly, we don't have the energy to climb up, though. And Ike. Ike is really, really bad shape. Let's get Toso over here. Hacken. What can we do with Hacken? We have to get him out of here. We could get him behind Kirabor, but that knife will do ridiculous damage to him. He has Pathfinder, and yet he doesn't have the energy to get moving. I think the best we could do is go forward and hide behind Jost. Duke, 95, 1. Ah, another one almost dead, but not quite. Kirabor, 25% Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, let's go for it. Nope. Vorander. Let's switch to the axe. 50 chance. Miss. Well, Vorander's had a lot of fortune, so I suppose it was going to turn around eventually. Eight blade. Not a good round for us. Not a good round at all. Literally nothing happened. Hackett could go down right now. I would not be happy about that. In fact, if he goes down, that will set us behind for several hundred days. Easily. We are breaking their morale though. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Not happy. Oh! Magnus. 
59, 66 on this one. How about 82? Yep. That one actually broke. Why don't we get our other axe out and go after this one? Nice. How about that one? No. Oh, I don't want to run. It will be the second time we had to run from this battle. Let's recover for now. Reload with Bane. 41. 34. Let's go for that 41. Nope. Aid blade. Hero mode aid blade. Yes! Ho ho ho! That might have saved the day right there. Four Anders, 54. Nope. Duke. Another one down. Duke doesn't care. Toso's got nothing to do but run away. Just let's recover. Kirbor, 25. Nothing. Junior, 53. Ike. Not much we could do with Ike other than just shield wall. Nice, another one down. Come on, Ike, get him. No! Oh, he gets away. This could be the game changer we need. Can Vorander climb up here without getting hit? Unlikely, actually. Let's try. No, all right. Okay, here it goes. This is, this is the moment. Oh, they're shooting at. Yep, Aid Blade is doing his job over there. Couple of aim shots going downtown, that's fine. Jaws gets poisoned. I think Hacken's gonna be able to get away from this one. Stupid one with a knife. Toso, could we do anything about these? What about 59% chance? Now let's take a aim shot at him. Maybe we'll get a headshot. Or nothing. Magnus reload. Let's start counter firing that ambusher. Oh, got him. Justadorf, 70% chance. Probably a kill. Yep. Problems are getting solved in great quantity. Hacken! Let's start running for it. Bane, reload. 41? No. Let's keep moving Duke in over here. Aid Blade. Kill the archer with the knife. Just break free. Man, this battle is brutal. 57% Fortander. Third time's a charm. Yep. Super dead. Junior, 53%. Got him again. Ike, right, can we break free? No. I don't like that. But I guess there's no more knives on him, so that's that's nice. Most of them are clearing out of here, but still, we're not done yet. Why don't we get Justadorf over to the Long Axe for now in preparation. We'll just kind of hang out here. Duke is too tired. Joss is poisoned. Vorander's tired. Everyone's tired.
Hmm. I don't think that one's gonna win his duel with Magnus. Oh, they're going after Hacken! No! Oh ho ho! Well, if they didn't get him now, then it seems likely that he's gonna get away. Two health, no bleeding. Oh no! I forgot about that one! Oh no, 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 no! He's already gone. Son of a. Let's get Toso over here. Magnus, reload, 57%. Yes! Okay. That was a massive mistake on my part. I got too excited. Justadorf. Let's get over here. Start working on those two. And I think, Bane, let's start getting you forward here. Let's get Duke in here, stab this guy a little bit. Just a little, not a lot. I don't like... Joss is in pretty bad shape. Let's just get him here for now. Need Blade. Let's go after this one with the pi- Oh, this one's way easier to hit. Just work on him. Ike, break free, good. And I guess we'll just stay there. Vorander, how about a breather? Junior? Definitely need to break free of that and then shield wall while you're stuck with the bugs. Uh, Kirbor's melee skill just makes it really hard for him to get free of those bushes. Another round goes by. That was a little bit productive. We got Hacken out of there. He is good and free with two health. Looks like the goblins are a little bit panicky now. Oh yeah, these shamans are running for it. Hacken, how about even more safe, please? Toso, I think an aimed shot right there at that goblin's face. Miss. Forander, yep. I don't know what to do with Ike. He's like stuck with his shield. Magnus, how about a reload? We can go after that one, 59%. Oh, super dead by the sound of it. Let's get Bane up here. How about a step with Justadorf? Well, he's too tired, so let's just take another step. Goss, break free. And just sit there, I guess. Duke, uh, I think a breather would be good for him. Aid blade, some damage, yeah. Kiribor needs a break. Junior needs a break. And Ike, you're not bugged anymore, so, or, bugged is definitely not the right word, is it? <laughs> He's not covered in insects, so he is a tanking god right now. Hmm, Vorander gets the, Gets the bush treatment. Uh, we might need to just get Jost out of there. He's just getting lit up. Yeah, Hacken just stay in the back. Toso, 65. Apparently we cannot kill this goblin. Still can't. Duke, stab him a little bit. Ike, break free. Miranda, break free. Let's take a step and get out the long axe. Justadorf, 65%. Miss. 
Really? Ben, can we get out some javelins? 62. Haha. -ha. There's a dead goblin. Just, just get out your shield since you're just sitting around getting shot. We need a breather with Magnus. Need blade. Couple more hits on that goblin. Kirbor finally gets free. Junior, 11% by the way. That's just shield wall. I, yep. Another turn down. At least it's a little bit more entertaining than last goblin fight. But, man, the goblins in the mountains. It looks like they're actually leaving. This could be the end. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. That might be it. Aim shot, 65, Toso, dead. No survivors. Well, there's going to be plenty of survivors, but... All we gotta do is kill this overseer and probably good to go. Duke, stab, stab. Junior gets in there now. Just a dwarf across the way. Super dead. Could probably just skip to the end. Because I would guess that's it. Yes, it's over. Okay, Vorander gets a level, so does Junior. Ugh. That was a little bit scary, wasn't it, folks? And we got nothing for our trouble. Absolutely nothing. Just a lot of the notch blades covered in our own blood. Some random stuff. And food and tools. Well, that was a waste. That was a massive waste, but I guess it's no longer going to annoy us. Annoy us. We have plenty of food, but the tool situation is a nightmare now. That's it for us in this area. Junior, yep, yep. Probably work on that fatigue a little bit. Orander, yep, yep. Orander's got pretty great fatigue. Let's just work on that resolve. Oi. Well, I think it's time to go home, isn't it? Is there anywhere we need to explore up here? We have the food. I guess we'll go down here. Yeah, 400 something food. Might as well use it. Eighteen goblins on the horizon. I don't even want to tempt that. Let's see if we can go row oh, 22 They would no doubt attack us Something which I do not want to abide no 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 Let's go this way and try and maybe fall. I want to get down here and see what's on this island if we can manage it I imagine most of our repairs are done by now. Some of us are a little beat up, like Jost. Hacken is jacked up. But it looks like we've mostly avoided the, uh, the Goblin Menace for now. What's on this little, tiny little outcrop? Black monolith inside swamps. How much of a nightmare would that be? Actually, it could totally work to our advantage if, uh, depending on terrain. Just nine goblins, okay. For for the briefest second, I thought they were coming right after us. I was like, no way. What do they have up their sleeve? We're mostly repaired. So that's good at least. 
So there's this little island over here. Maybe we can go check that out. But our food is going to be... Looks like we, we had some spoilage. It's a lot of just random traveling now. Yeah. It's good to know we're almost fully repaired. While we're at it, since we're kind of out of goblin territory, let's just start getting rid of the shields and inventory. They, they fatigue our bros quite a bit. Yeah. Cure board and aid blade. All right, yeah. Hey, Hacken recovers. I think he got that from a crossbow bolt from the goblin. That oh, that was a bit, bit of a scare there, wasn't it? 280 food left. Eight more days. Okay. Let's head on up to this tiny little island if we can. I'm clicking on it and it's taking us somewhere. I don't know where it's taking us. Is there like a... We have to go all the way around and then up in there maybe? Oy, oy, oy. Do we have enough food for this? Oh god, I hope we do. More swamps. There it is! Son of a... Right inside a swamp, no less. Ah. Uh. Well, we found it. We found it. What do we do with this newfound knowledge? I have no idea. I mean, we would definitely be fielding almost exclusively melee. I mean, we could try it right now. Yeah, hacking is all put back together. I have no idea. I've never done the back black monolith before. I've never done it. We might save that for like an episode all of its own. And I'm wondering how we're going to do it, like, I, I thought of a couple things. One thing being, um, we end the game with one final, with one just assault on the black monolith. If we die, we die. If we win, we win. But that seems like it could just end the game pretty bitterly if we did that. So I was also thinking we do one fight. When it goes south, we retreat. We put ourselves back together. Let's see, 10 orcs. It's not a big deal. What's going on in here anyway? All this stuff is going to be exclusively unrewarding, I would think. So, the other option I was thinking of is that we attack the first time and do as much damage and then retreat. And then the second battle is win or lose. We stay until the bitter end. I don't know. I don't know how it would go. Because there's like priests and they're going to be doing their miasma on us the whole battle, so you're kind of on a timer. We're running out of food though, so it's time to go home to Brunewald, I think. What's that? A plethora of ancient legionaries, a few necrosavants, an ancient priest, a few honor guards. That actually sounds like fun. I bet you we might be able to get something out of that, right? We're fully repaired. We're almost home. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna do this. Clearly, no bows. Let's get back on our shields. Aid blade, let's get your shield back. Cure bore. Get yours back. Why don't we repair these ones up since they took some damage. Yeah, there it 
is. Probably organize it too. We have a lot of nets. <laughs> Leonard, Egil, Edmonds. I want to get Night Warg in this. Seems like it might be the right call. So instead of, instead of Egil, we'll have Night Warg. And... Close it up a bit. Let's have just a dwarf on the end there because he's a beast. This looks like the right way to handle it. Do we have any extra bandages for Edmonds? No. Okay. I think we're going to jump in there. We're going to go give it a shot. Is it in the forest? Oh, it is. Fighting skeletons in the forest sounds like a nightmare. Do I really want to do this? Do I really want to do this? I hmm. I mean, we're not pushovers now. It's a plethora of ancient legionaries, which is going to be almost exclusively a million pikes. The priest... Get, I mean, getting to the priest when he keeps hitting us with that miasma is going to be really annoying through the trees. I think maybe maybe we'll just avoid it. In all likelihood, it's we won't get anything. There's... Keep moving to Brunewald here. I want I want some more of those really big orc camps. Those are like scary and fun at the same time. Toso and Justinorf bickering over who's a better shot. Well, obviously it's Toso. But sure, plus one range skill for the both of them, sure. Who's the better shot? Come on, Justinorf. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. All right, finally getting home at long last. We must have been out there for like two weeks. Maybe we can do some work. Ooh, looks like Brunwald suffered a bit of a bit of a oopsie error there. Bit of arson, maybe. What's this, Sir Rupert's Conqueror? Looks like trash. Don't even need to. Don't even need to deal with that. Armor, nothing. Okay. Let's go to the marketplace, see what's going on here. Yep, look at all these tools. Yum, yum, yum. Some grains, some butter. I like it, let's get rid of all this stuff. Yeah, sell prices are pretty decent here. We don't need to go running around. Yeah, we're not gonna use that better vanquisher. It's not gonna happen. I'm almost certain that's not going to happen, but it's such a good item that I'm just hesitant to sell it for now. Yeah, okay. A little bit of money. Just enough to probably cover the co- well, maybe even, maybe not. Wow, a squire for 820. Let's try him out. I'm pretty sure that's a hard nope. It's not gonna work. Sorry, bud. Caravan hand, militia. No. It was a good deal. No regrets. Ruins of Stormwatch Keep. 770 in advance, that's about 4,000. Retrieve artifact from ruins of Stormwatch Keep to the northeast. Isn't that, did we find that already? Is that up here? Rotting Bones Rest. 
Why don't we take it? Why don't we take it? Sounds fun. Just please don't... Oh god. Oh god! Oh, that's west. Ah! God. Seriously? Is that a bug? They can't honestly do that to us, really? As serious? Oh, and we have such good relations with this? No, wait, no, we don't. Screw this quest. This, it's going to cost us thousands and thousands of gold just to get up there. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, well, that probably soured things a little bit, didn't it? Ooh, it sure did. Well, what's going on down here? Cavern of Lost Screams. Maybe we do go to the black monolith. Maybe we do. Let's, uh... Food's all of a sudden very expensive. But you know what? We're gonna buy it anyway. Some beer. Some mead. I think, uh, I think we ought to have as much variety as we can on our way over there to keep everyone nice and happy. 386 food. Maybe some ham. Most of this food is gonna spoil in a day. Let's just buy it all. I don't want to run run out of food on the way over there. I don't want that to happen at all. Oh, sell that short sword. How did that get in there? Hmm. Okay. I think we're gonna do it. Let's have a round. And let's get moving to that black monolith. It's time. It's time to test the waters. To see what the Saturnine is really made of. White Company looks like they're having a pretty bad time over there. That sucks. <laughs> 73 tools is probably enough to get our asses kicked and then walk home. Hopefully. With luck, we can do as much damage as we can and then get home in relative ease without anyone getting just wrecked on accident because that would suck. Luckily, there's not going to be any archers or anything like that, but I'm, I think there's going to be plenty of like vampires and stuff. And it's in a swamp. So don't forget that. Oh, really? Are they coming for us? Are they really come? Come on. Okay, there we go. Give them the old, uh, give them the old roundabout switcheroo. Saturnine's no, uh, no strangers to tricky maneuvers. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Oh, uh, it's in a swamp. That could either, it could either make it like extraordinarily easy for us, depending on the terrain, or wickedly hard. But that's, it's just, it's just the way it is. Let's take a look at what we're, what we're going to be bringing. I don't think we want young blood on this one. Seems like a terrible idea. We need Egil and Kettlemond. Both of which are not... Wow, Egil 71 melee defense. With Aid Blade close behind, 70. Epic tanks.
Only four great swords, but you know, it's just it's the best we could do. Hmm. Well, I guess this is just what we do. I guess this is just how we're going to do it. So, guys, next episode. Next episode, the Saturnine at long last, 442 days later. Definitely over 100 hours into this campaign. We're going to make the first attempt at the Black Monolith. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.